Greetings, Orphanites. Welcome back to our filmmaking vlog here on TheOrphanMovie.com. As always, I'm your host, Jonathan Russell. And this time around, we are going to be talking about our first short film, Who's On First? I uh, just want to let you know that um, Jacob's actually gotten a little bit of the editing done, a little bit of the rough editing. Uh, he has about a minute and a half put together, and he let me take a look at it last night, and it's pretty doggone good. It's going to be really funny. We're really looking forward to getting this done. He's having a good time with it. It's uh, something different than what he usually edits, and so he's having a good time with it. And I think we're going to have a, a really funny short once we get it all done. Um, we don't have exactly have a... Uh, release, release date yet, but uh, we're probably a few weeks out from doing that. Uh, what I thought I'd talk about this time around is last time I talked a little bit about copyright issue on uh, who's on first and uh, the reason that I think we're okay on that. Um, I did some research before I even wrote the script because uh, that was a concern of mine was copyright. Uh, there's a I on um, I believe it was uh, Wikipedia. It says that it was. Um, copyrighted in 1944, I believe it was. Um, of course, Wikipedia's kind of hit and miss on some things. Some people post things that they think is true and it's not. So I don't know whether or not that's actually factual. However, I think that they might be correct, but they just left out a little bit of information. Um, the movie that I've referenced that I'll use as a uh, basis for the, uh, the script is the routine that they did, the version of the routine that they did in the movie The Naughty 90s. That's not actually the first movie that they did it in. The first one was in 1940, I believe it was. Uh, I can't recall the name of the movie right now, uh, but it was the first film that they appeared in. It wasn't one that they were starring in, it was one that they appeared in, and they only did a shortened version of Who's on First. There was another one that was in 1942, and uh, they performed the routine, a portion of the routine in that one also. They did a shortened version of it. It wasn't until they did the naughty 90s in 1945 that they actually did a full version of the routine. Um, all of those films, or at least the very first one in the, in the naughty 90s, is what they did was is the they uh, had the, the, the copyright for the film cover the routine. So they didn't actually separately uh, copyright the routine as far as what I've known, what I've heard, uh, what I've read. The, uh, there was a court case that actually came up a couple of years ago. There's a, a off-Broadway show, and I believe it was like uh, 2014, called Hand to God. And the playwright actually took a portion of Who's on First from the Naughty 90s and included it in the play. Um, I'm not sure how much of it was or anything like that, but it was the basis for a lawsuit from the uh, uh, filed by the descendants of Bud Abbott and Lou Costello for copyright violation. The uh, courts kind of went back and forth as it went through uh, appeals sort and such, and uh, one court would find one way, another court would find another way. Uh, ultimately, it reached a district, a federal district court, just before below the uh, the Supreme Court and uh, they upheld the decision of the previous court. It went to the Supreme Court, they looked at the case, and they decided not to hear it. Because they decided not to hear it, that means that the previous court's decision, they consider to be law, they consider it to be the final word on it. What happened was, is the, that uh, whenever they copyrighted well, they didn't copyright the routine, as I said. They had it covered under the copyright for the film. So what it was is they agreed to do the film. They agreed to do Who's On First as part of the film. And they asked that the routine be copyrighted under the copyright for the film. What the court said is that uh, because of it being prior to uh, 1978, I believe it was, that it fell under 1909 copyright law. And what that, because of that, it was considered to be a part of the movie. It's like if you go, you see a musical, there's, a, there's songs, there's dances, there's other things that are a part of the musical that are not necessarily, that could stand on their own, but because they're written as a part of the film, they're considered to be a part of the film, not a separate part that was added on. And uh, that was the, essentially what they decided with Who's On First is that it was, it was incorporated as a part of the film and considered a part of the whole, not something separate. Um, the uh, decision was that uh, 
it was uh, because they had never actually copyrighted it under um, the copyright law on its own that the copyright for the film covered it until that expired. In 1964, 65, I think it was, uh, the studio, I think it was Universal, uh, reapplied for the, uh, the rights to it and then they ended up letting it, letting it go. So the copyright uh, basically just like dissolved and became a non-issue anymore. And that's why the courts decided the way they did. So based on that, my understanding of the law, my understanding of the court cases, having based this on the routine as it was done in the film, The Naughty 90s, it's not under copyright. So, I mean, it's kind of a convoluted thing, but that was something that I wanted to, to get out there. Like I said, that was one of the issues that concerned me from the start. Um, if anybody out there knows copyright law and understands the, this case better than me, then <laughs> please, by all means, let us know. I, I don't think that it's gonna be an issue even if uh, there was some kind of copyright violation on us on our part because we're not doing this for profit. It's not like we're gonna be displaying this in public for, you know, and charging tickets or anything like that. It's it's really something that we did for fun. It's an homage to the, uh, uh, the genius of Bud Abbott and Lou Costello, all of their comedy, but specifically this routine. Um, there were some other things that, regarding to the, um, um, the case that uh, if one of the things I remember seeing what, that had concerned me briefly was that if it changed the intent of the routine, that it would be a violation, but we didn't do that. We, all we did is, like I said, just added a little bit of an introduction to kind of work your way into the routine. And the routine itself was, wasn't changed, but maybe a word or two, but it didn't change the intent. It just changed it to the, to adapt it to the setting we put it in. So that's really pretty much all I have to say about the copyright. That's, that's pretty much my understanding of it. Um, if you seem confused by it, don't feel like you're the only one. <laughs> Uh, but like I said, if, if somebody does aware of uh, how this might violate it, by, by all means, let us know. But like I said, I don't think, consider it to be an issue and we're going to proceed forward. And once we get it done, we're going to put it out there. And hopefully everybody's going to have a good time watching it. Um, my wife, Katie, actually watched the little bit uh, that is done. And uh, for some reason, she seems to think that I'm playing myself in it when um, I have my reactions to uh, my film wife Valerie and some things she says but that's neither here nor there that's for her to chuckle at and enjoy on her own although I think it's kind of funny too anyways that pretty much wraps it up for us this time around uh, next time we'll have a little bit more information about the, uh, the our short the Who's On First uh, I'm sure the Jacobs can be further along we'll have, uh, have a little bit more that he's going to let me take a peek at I'm hoping and I'll let you all know what there is and what to uh, look forward to. Anyways, as far as the other uh, shorts, I wanted to let you know we are starting to move forward on our second one. Uh, we're starting to look at a couple of different things. Um, location's a little bit of an issue for us on it, and uh, we might have an, uh, something that's going to work out, but uh, we're still in the very, very early stages of that right now. Anyways, that'll wrap it up for us this time around. Uh, if you want to contact us, our email, of course, is realorphanmovie at gmail.com. Our little place on the web is theorphanmovie.com. That's where you find our videos. It's also where you can sign up for our emails. I'm starting to try and send those out on a regular basis now. Uh, of course, over on social media, Twitter, uh, Twitter, Twitter, and Instagram and Facebook, it is The Orphan Movie. Like I said, that takes care of us this time around, and we will talk to you next time right here on The Orphan Movie.